Welcome to today's video. Uh, today we are going to be doing a Jojo Mart run on Stardew Valley. This is my first time ever doing a Jojo run and I'm super duper excited. So we have our farm started. It's our Jojo farm. My name is Vern on here and I'm super excited to get into this run. So keep watching. And now we keep going. <laughs> So, yeah, it was epic intro. It was perfect. Um, so yeah, I think the way to do this, how most people do it, is they start off with doing one of the bundles in the community center, and then they do the Joja stuff. I haven't, I've watched a ton of videos people doing Joja runs, but I've never actually done one myself. So... I'm intrigued to see how that works, but we'll see. Day one, I always try to go around and meet as many people as I can. Yeah, so the goal for this run is just to kind of see how long it takes us to like complete Jojo Mart, but we might also kind of turn it into like a Jojo Perfection run. Um, I'm not quite sure yet, but I definitely wanted to get something in where I start with the Jojo Mart because I, yeah, just have never done it and so I want to do it.
So now that it's 7.20 on the first day, I'm going to take this time to kind of clear a path. And then, what are you going to call that for that day? Because there's actually already a pretty clear path. That's not bad. That is shocking. I usually don't get a very clear path day one. I'm also going to take this as a time to plant my mixed seeds that I've already collected. I typically don't plant them day one, but... I need one more. Oh, see, today was a day where they were annoyed. And beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Perfect. I think day two is actually a guaranteed Sunday. Neutral spirits today and rain day tomorrow. Perfect. Lily. Perfect. Now we've done all that. That up. Okay. All right. Because that's already in the works. Today I'm going to take this as an opportunity to do a little bit of foraging to try to get some stuff for uh, energy replenishment. And then I'm also gonna take this as an opportunity to go get my fishing rod and do a little bit of fishing. Whatever fishing I can get to pretty much, just to be sure that I have enough for the start of, you know, for starting with getting money. I've watched that cutscene about a thousand times. Um, but this is also my first time coming down to, to the beach, so I'll check for any beach foraging as well. Um, just so I can sell it. I don't know which bundle people usually do. So that'll be interesting to figure out. I have to kind of try to get to level, like, at least finish in the level one, up to level one fishing on the first day if I can. Fishing's a skill I'm actually quite good at in this game. Um, it's one of the ones that I actually enjoy the most, probably. I think it's just one that I've had enough experience doing.
We already got our level one fishing. So that's perfect. And I think I've caught enough fish. I have. I've caught what I wanted to for fish today. And there is no foraging on the beach today, which is absolutely fine because we're not really focused on that quite yet. Um, I do need to figure out what bundle people start with. Um, but that's okay. At least we have all this. Like we've we've gotten a really good head start with all of this. Um, I don't think it's a fish one though. I don't think the fish one is what people usually do. So I'm gonna sell this for money. Let's see. I'm just gonna sell all this for right now. Um, just. spend the rest of the day cleaning up our farm because there's a lot of trees and stuff that if I get the trees out of the way then I'll feel a little bit better about my space here So with this run really needing to maximize on money, I'm really hoping to work as hard as I can to unlock preserve jars to be able to, um, you know, put things into, um, like pickles. Um, because I feel like that's a huge benefit to the money. Because I, I want to say it's like, I don't even know how much the total is of what you need. But it's, it's a lot. So. I was kind of a waste of energy to do it that way, but I did it anyways. I think I'll also take this day as an opportunity. I'm actually gonna go visit Linus and I'm just gonna give him a daffodil. He likes foraged items. So to be able to give him something that he actually likes is good because it helps me to do the give a friend a gift. What is it called? How to win friends. Give someone a gift. Um that Honestly, for today's stream, I'm probably just going to end up getting through, like, the first week in the game. I'm just going to know that takes a couple of hours. Alright. We are now out of energy for the day, so I am going to walk around and do a little bit of foraging. We'll see. Okay, we 
find it tomorrow. Okay. Level one forging, level one fishing on day one. Oh, I forgot to... Okay, no, I sold everything I caught today. Okay. 300 gold on day two. There's so much, like, I could have done so much better with that, but did not have the stuff. Clear and sunny tomorrow. Spirits are in good humor. Throw off. That's what we didn't want. <laughs> We're gonna head back down to the beach to go do some more fishing. Wait for day five for that. So let's head off and go do that. See how much we can do. This whole time you guys couldn't hear the game. I can't believe I just did that.
I definitely am excited to see how the Joja thing works because I I've watched people do runs of it but I don't know that I really paid attention to like obviously I know it's super money based and it's not community center but other than that I actually don't know how much is needed for what I don't know yeah I don't know any of those mechanics I don't know any of like the late game Joja yeah I'm st I still have a lot to learn leave that for now. The foraging. I don't have my earth crystal yet. <laughs> Sunny for day four. Level two fishing. Level three fishing. Grab pot, dish of the sea. And an extra almost 600 gold from fishing. Very nice. sitting for this um i also want to find out for the backpack so i could technically get the next backpack right now i don't know that that's a good idea though i'm kind of thinking it's not the best idea but it could be a good idea other goal is for day five I think day five is the unlock of the mines and it's Thursday so what day is the forage reset I thought it was Saturday. I thought it was sorry, I thought it was Sunday. But Oh it's Sunday. I just I looked it up. So Sunday is reset. Okay.
they still have to unlock their community center, which is still, you know, going to be interesting. There's no advantage for me picking up forageables before that day, so I'm not going to.
I have been able to get to level 10 fishing in the first season before and I feel like we're definitely on track to do that again. However, I know that the next couple of in-game days are going to be really focused on one, unlocking the community center cutscene. Because even though we're doing a JoJo run, we still have to go unlock it. <clears throat> um, and then I plan on kind of looking up strategy wise like what is the best way to because there is one bundle people typically do in a jojo run that unlocks something that is really helpful for um a good chunk of um the first few seasons i really think we've been doing a good amount of work though with fishing for the good chunk of our early game money. I mean, we have enough now for the first backpack upgrade, which is something I don't typically see in the first few in-game days. But I think by choosing to fish this early on and just do straight fishing, it's been really helpful. Um, probably do that till about 10 p.m. in-game again, or until my inventory is full, which it probably won't fill up, but who knows? We'll see, because we also are running pretty low on energy as well. Yeah, getting iridium quality fish this early on is really good. We've also leveled up in our skill today, which does mean that no matter what happens, we are guaranteed to wake up with good energy. That is like the biggest thing I learned in this game that was so helpful is that if you level up a skill before the day is up, you will still wake up with a full energy bar. So fourth day in game is done. Level four fishing, plus tons more to sell. I feel like we're doing so good with this. Um, level four fishing, get the recycling machine. Very nice. Oh, the flounders. I forgot flounders are worth so much. Okay. Perfect. Tomorrow, sunny day. Spirits are annoyed. No, let's not. Let's just do spark. There we go.
the goal for mining today is to get down to level... I'm gonna say at least level 10. first copper I guess the other goal today is just to get like as much copper as possible as well Getting as much copper as we can day one so that we can work on building up our copper supply. I don't think we go for level uh, 10 today. We don't really want to go down into the mines until we're going to get that letter from Marlin that... See if there's a help wanted board today. All right, I'm gonna see if we can do that for Harvey. I think he's probably at the clinic right now. I'm gonna go give him the dandelion that he requested just to have that be done already. Another 120 gold. I'm still thinking we do the backpack. Saturday is going to be a good day for foraging uh, because that's the day when all the before all the forage resets.
so on this day, um, I'm just gonna focus on finishing fishing. I am debating though, do I wanna get the backpack upgrade now and then just focus on fishing for the rest of the next couple of days? In order to do that, that would give me enough to get my JoJo membership as soon as I'm able to. But I'm not quite sure yet. How much is it? Only, is it if it's 2,000, I might just do it. Yeah, let's just do it. The only reason why I see this is like one of the best things I could have done here is because this would give me so much more space to pack more in, which then gives me the ability to kind of wait in between runs. I don't know why I picked that up. I also just want to see... He has the ability for me to get a different rod now. I'm not going to do that. Oh, hey, look. All the stuff I gave him. Okay. Um, yeah, no, we're just going to fish. And then tomorrow we're going to do a foraging day, which means we're going to go all around the, the town, all up through the backwoods, all of that, to try to get as much forage as we can before the forage reset. We'll also come down to the beach. We'll bring our uh, our hoe with us. We'll go get all the warm spots that we can find. We'll go do all the foraging we can. Um, just because foraging as well is like a really good skill to level up. So that's kind of the goal. But if we could reach level 5 fishing today, that would put us far above. Like, we're we're level 4 fishing. So being level 4 fishing is wonderful and amazing. But I just think that there's more we can do. Because once we get level 5, it just kind of means that, um, you know, our... Um, I think... I, well, it, it really depends. So... I usually do Fisher, which means that my fish are worth more.
level one farming so I can build my scarecrow, which finishes that quest. We got 800 gold back out of the 2,000 I think we spent. Honestly, we're doing pretty good. All right, now we start a foraging day. Spirits are neutral. Clear and sunny. Uh, amazing. Oh, Clint. Good morning. Notice that you've been breaking. Smart finding ore. That's good. Yes. Okay. Next in-game day, I think 
our goal should be to go back into the mines after we talk with Rasmodius. There was nothing there. Sell these for right now. Do do do. Actually, I need to check here. There's nothing there. So what I can do right now is actually spend the rest of my day. We'll go to the mines. We'll go try to get our ten slimes in the mines today. We're already doing really decently well with skills, which I think is really, really good. Um, you know, I just want to make sure that I'm able to get as much done as I can. goal for coming down here right now is to get as much copper as we can. There's a lot of slimes on this floor. This floor is going to be super good for what we're trying to do. That was a lot of copper. Holy crap, we're doing so good. already finish our slimes I should try to get down the next couple of floors that I need to get to the next elevator at least
Oh, that'd be a really good replacement sword. But... It's not really worth it. Perfect. And now... We are done with that. And then that is going to be the end of this day. I'm going to do one more in-game day, which is going to be ideally um, getting the community center unlocked, even though we're not doing community center. Um, and then... Let's see. Beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Spears were neutral today. All right. We're doing Fisher, we got level one mining. Perfect. Let's get into this last day for this uh, video and this stream. Okay. Actually, I do know our goal for today. So we're not going to get our, our Jojo membership today. Our focus today is going to be solely on planting. I think we're going to do melons. buy my seeds first. I'm going to see how many we can buy. I know we can buy a fair chunk, but... I know we don't have 50 crop spots, I just did this so I could have, you know, do as much as I can.
So our goal for our next stream of this, I'm gonna set a goal now so that I know either next river or next video. Cause this is gonna be the end of this <clears throat> video of this. <clears throat> is um I want to go and get the membership unlocked. Um which it's five thousand gold. So we're only at seven fifty nine right now. So I think that'll be a really good goal. Um to do um as for the rest of this in-game day i think we're gonna try to go fish um to get as much gold as we can I'm also taking the time now that I have the backpack upgrade to get as many chests as I possibly can. Um, mostly because this will really help with our museum and it will also really really help my ability to um, because like a lot of the museum stuff you can find in those treasure chests um, and also because I'm going to be doing a little bit less mines focused at least for the first half of this run, which is getting all the money for JoJo. We also don't tend to fish past like 10 p.m. in game just solely because it gets so dark on the way back, but we'll see how it ends up going. depending on how many crops I can place and have done in the time period that I'm aiming to do this I might be able to get um, this done in the first year
thing is I've always wanted to do community center in one year but I've never found that red cabbage in the traveling cart in the first season or sorry in the first year but this being as it's just money based I may be able to um but I don't want to set that expectation or that goal too too early on because I want to make sure that I have the necessary skills and the necessary stuff that I need to be able to be successful at that But we'll see. I probably have the ability to catch a couple more fish. I'll go into my energy is pretty drained. And then but lots of good stuff. A lot of iridium quality, which is perfect. Because they sell for more. I messed up. There we go, finally. I was gonna go for that room quality fish, but... Something tells me that treasure chest was worth it. I got our first gold ore. That actually was good. We head back, we sell all this for the day, and then we will the video there. So yeah, goal for the next part of this is to get as much gold as we can to start our Joja membership in that second week of spring so that we can get started on some of these bundles as soon as possible. So I still plan on getting, yeah, I'm not focused as much on tools or anything yet. My biggest focus right now is probably going to end up being, um, um, just, yeah, just money. Oh, I forgot to do the queen of, queen of sauce. Oh, I had a neutral day today. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that again. I just meant to check what the weather for tomorrow is going to be. Clear and sunny. Okay. <clears throat> we end off making at this. Okay, so a thousand gold we made based on the fact that we spent like four thousand today. Uh, and we only fished for like six in game hours. It's pretty good. Alrighty, guys. I'm going to cut the video there. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I plan on uploading this as soon as I possibly can, depending on what style I choose to do for this video. It'll be up over the next couple of days. But yeah, if you guys like this type of content, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.